Welcome to this video. Today I want to walk you through how to remove your graphic card drivers off of your Windows computer using a free program called Display Driver Uninstaller or DDU. And the reason why you use this program is because it will do a full uninstallation of those drivers. You don't want to just go into the control panel or program list and click uninstall because pieces of those drivers can be left behind and cause future issues. Now a couple examples as to when or why you would do this is one, if you're having performance issues with your graphics card, this could be used as a troubleshooting step because often performance issues can be related to the drivers. Another example is if you just bought or purchased a new graphics card, you want to make sure you fully uninstall your current graphic card drivers before you install the new graphics card, especially if you're going from AMD to NVIDIA or NVIDIA to AMD. Now a couple things before you proceed to these steps is one, I do recommend that you back up your data. Most of you will not have any issues, but just to be safe, I do recommend that you back up your data or at the very least create a restore point. If you don't know how to do that, I will post a link down below in the notes down in the video description to a short video on how to create a system restore point. Also, you will need to know what your Windows password is, not the PIN, but your actual Windows password. And the reason to that is because in order to do these steps, we have to go into safe mode and you cannot log into your computer in safe mode using your PIN. You have to know your Windows password. So if you don't know it, do not proceed to these steps. Now to get started, you will want to go down to the notes below down in the video description and click on the link there to go to where you need to download the free program. It will take you to this page. And from here, you will just want to go over to the latest version, and then you'll want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on official download here. Click on the arrow to go to show in folder, and then go ahead and double click on the download. Go ahead and click on extract, and then you'll want to go ahead and double click on the folder, and you'll notice the application is there. Now, we don't want to run it just yet. Go ahead and close everything instead, and then go down to the bottom left corner of your screen, down to the Windows Start menu, and type in msconfig, and then you will want to right-click on it, run as administrator, go to Boot, and then check the Safe Boot, and also select Network, and then click on Apply, OK, and then restart and your computer will go ahead and restart. Once in safe mode, the very first thing you'll want to do is go back to the bottom left corner to the start menu, type in msconfig again, right click, run as administrator, go to the boot tab and uncheck the safe boot box, click apply, okay, and then this time exit without restart and we do this just because we don't want to keep booting into safe mode every time we restart the computer. Now at this point we want to go down to the bottom to open up the file explorer and then go over to the left hand side to downloads and then back to the folder we were at earlier. This time we're going to go ahead and run the application so we're just going to go ahead and double click on it. If you get this menu again it's just warnings we went over earlier you can just go ahead and click on OK. If you get this options menu, just go ahead and leave it as is and click close. On the right hand side, you will see that there's a drop down menu that says select device type. Now we are removing graphic card drivers, so you want to make sure to click the drop down and go with GPU for graphic card drivers. Then on the second menu, select the graphic card type. So I'm using NVIDIA, so I'm going to select NVIDIA. If you're using AMD or Intel, you would select one of those uh, options. Now on the left hand side we have three different cleaning options. The top one is clean and restart. This is the one you do if you are troubleshooting, if you are keeping your current graphics card. So you want to use that top clean and restart option. If you are removing multiple graphic card drivers, you want to use the middle option. And if you bought a new graphics card, you want to use the bottom option that says clean and shut down. Now in this case, I am replacing the old graphics card with a new one. So I'm going to go with clean and shut down. You'll just want to click on the option that you're going with and then it will go ahead and start the cleaning process. It can take several minutes, just let it sit until it is fully completed. And then in this case, because I selected clean and shut down, it's going to automatically shut down the computer when it's finished. So that way I can take out the old graphics card and put the new one in. After restart, if the resolution on your computer is incorrect, as you see here, it's really easy to solve. All you need to do is just find an empty space on your desktop and right click, go down to display settings, and then right here you can change the resolution. 
I'm just going to set it back to 1080p, click keep changes, and then close the menu. Now if you go down to the notes below down in the video description, I will post links to both NVIDIA and AMD's pages where they have the downloads for their graphics card drivers. Now you will need to know the specific graphic card that you are using in your computer so you can select the specific model here in the menus as you, as you can see me doing. It's important that you know that because you want to make sure you get the correct drivers. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on search and then click on download and then download again. And then at this point, it's just like installing anything else. You just open up the download. It's going to have you click on next or OK. It's going to go ahead and extract. And then when you get to this menu, go ahead and just stick with the defaults. You'll just want to click on the green option below. And it, if you're using AMD, it's going to be very similar. Just go with the basic defaults. Uh, again, you're just going to be clicking next and OK for the most part. And then when you get to this menu, just go ahead and click on the express default settings and it will go ahead and install the drivers. And now it has finished. We can go ahead and click on close. And then the very last thing after the drivers have finished installing, you will want to restart the computer one more time. And then at that point, you should be good to go. If you do have any questions or comments, please post them down below. We do try to respond. Other people may chime in as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.